Hey guys, welcome to Gypsy Jazz Boot Camp. It's Tracy Kim here. Today's tune is Chavalo Swing. So this song was originally featured in the film Lacho Drum, written by Chavalo Schmidt. It's Chavalo Swing, and it's got so many cool ideas. It's kind of a longer form. It's definitely more of a intermediate advanced song to learn to play. There's pretty gymnastic with some of these arpeggios, um, but it's still just a fun tune to add to your repertoire if you really want a tune that has that gypsy jazz sound and feel. This video is going to teach you the melody. Basically, I'm going to play it along with the metronome. And I'm going to just kind of maybe describe the intro at first. And if you want the full lesson, it is offered on my Patreon page, which will lead you to Vimeo videos, where I go a little bit more in depth on how to play it, on how I play it at least. And also for reference, there's uh, my PDFs on the Patreon page as well. Uh, so please consider joining Patreon. And then also, the, I recommend the Django Fake Book 2008. If you don't already have that, if you know what I'm talking about. That's a great reference. Um, so let's go and get started on the intro. I'm playing D minor nine, C 13, B flat 13, A seven sharp five. And I'm doing that three times. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, and repeat. One, two, three, four, one, two, and repeat. And then that was it. And then hit the A. then there's that pickup note, the slur, that will now lead us to the intro. Again, this is all notated on my PDF. I hope you have it in front of you. If not, please, again, uh, join my Patreon page. Okay, so here's a metronome. One, two, three, Let's play that along with the metronome. One, two, three, 
Here we go. Last time. Now we're at the A section. So that's about as much talking as I'm going to do for this YouTube uh, teaser video, I guess you can call it. Please consider joining my Patreon if you want me explaining in detail what's going on with this. And um, again, this is my arrangement of this fabulous tune. So let's go ahead and get on to the A section, and I'm just going to play it along with the metronome. So what I played for you there was the A section and the B section together. That would then again repeat. So it's an A, B form. And then now we're going to have a C section. So I'm going to, And then the C goes to the B. So the form is A, B, A, B, C, B, and then you would solo. <laughs> and then of course the intro uh, can also be played as an outro. I'm going to show you the C section next. Okay, so that was the A and the B section combined. We would actually repeat those two sections. So it's A, B, A, B, the form. And then now we're off into the C section, and then we have to do that B section again to end the song. Of course, we would, we would loop and do solos, <laughs> uh, which we're omitting today, but definitely you can expect some good etudes coming out for you. So let's go ahead and do that C section and the B section. We'll just connect it. The C section starts off on a C7 chord. I'm treating it with some octaves. Again, this is my own arrangement of it. So here we go. It's kind of an octave study. And not only that, on that B flat 7 to the A flat 7, I hope you have the chart, I'm doing this diminished 7 arpeggio. It's a good trick, of course. It's Whenever you have that half step movement, you can slide around and the diminish is always in three frets away. So it's a great trick. I hope you know that trick. Um, it's all notated on my sheet. So here we go. C section and B section. One, two, three, four. A one, two, three. Back to the C. Here's those diminished arpeggios. B flat seven. Down the half seven. solos. 
So after the C-section, you would, of course, do your solos and you'd come back in at the C-section to end the song, but you'd also play your B-section. And I would tag that ending lick three times. So after the solos through the A, B, A, B, um, of course, you can go on further. You can repeat the C and go solo through that too, but I would still recommend coming back in at the C section, uh, this part. <coughs> And then, because that's a very distinguishable part to come in, come in and the band will kind of know that, hey, we're going to end this song. And then you do your B section. And then that last little tag. And repeat that three times. One more time. And of course, the classic Django lick. Um, the other thing you can do is to do this again. You can do that intro one and, um, and that ending lick again. So those are the options for the uh, some endings there. Um, I like to kind of keep it open depending on how I feel, um, but that's definitely will be pretty standard. So. Okay, well, thanks, guys, so much today. I hope you enjoyed learning Chavalo Swing. And if you want the full lesson, join my Patreon page. Check out my Patreon. You'll get a 35-minute lesson approximately on me going through the details with the counting, uh, the counting, I call it the talking metronome, of course. And that, I found, has helped me and my students really learn and get the details. And also, you can get my PDF, which I'm uh, basing it this off of today. So... Um, the reference chart is from that Django fake book. Thanks guys so much. Gypsy Jazz Bootcamp. I'm Tracy Kim. We'll see you guys next time.